Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, BPAL Picks Edition. That's BPAL Picks, the Patreon. Go check it out. We make lots of money over there. So, um, we are going. We had a great chat on my show today between three and five with uh, the prize, Peyton on the radio. Freaking awesome guest. Uh, I do a show three to five Eastern time, Monday to Friday, right here on this channel where we do picks. We talk about picks. We talk about hockey. We talk about all kinds of stuff to do with hockey. Everything hockey is what we do there. Um, San Jose Sharks, we're back here, all the guys from the San Jose Sharks, to get their uh, spankings at Perlo's House of Spanking. Uh, and uh, so I, I, they, they, they should be better now. That, that usually does it, I find. You know, having bad days, not doing what you're supposed to, things aren't working right, go, go get yourself a good spanking there at Perlo's House of Spanking. Fix you right up. All right. Let's get let's get right to picks today, shall we? Where did I put them? I'm not I'm not even gonna let I'm not even gonna go talk about all other stuff. We're gonna get right to them right away. This is the this is all the picks, and then we're going to go into our picks for tonight. And then we're gonna go into a little deeper discussion about all the picks and why we picked them and all of those things like that. Comments down in the comment section. Let me know why you picked your picks. Why we think I'm crazy? Why? How? Like, I'd like to hear from you if you think what the heck are you thinking there, Perlo, with this whatever pick that I have. Also, just put your parlay, put your picks down there. Let's compare them. Let's connect down there in the comment section, shall we? I like it. Okay. I'm in the basement of the uh, Seattle apartment here, by the way. I like it. It's cool and everything. I Islanders over the Bruins money line. Oh, did you get your protractors? Oh, I didn't even get your time to get your stuff out. Sorry. Get it all out there. You got your crayon and all everything you need for writing these down. Hockey news reports. You got it? Oh, pencil. That's a, that's a nice pink pencil you got there, Hockey News Reports. It's pretty. Islanders over Bruins ML. Over five. I think it's going to be five. We don't know totally, but usually Islanders in Boston are five. They were last night. Canadians over the Flames money line under five and a half. Wild over Sharks in regulation. Over five and a half. Avalanche over the Kings. Under. Over? No, over five and a half. I can't even read my own writing, man. Seriously, like, I just wrote this down. And I can't read my own writing. Vegas in reg. Over five and a half. Vegas in regulation. I didn't write. Who, who are they playing? Anaheim, I believe. Was it Anaheim? Yeah, Anaheim. Vegas in regulation over five and a half. So all you hurry pants people that need to get your picks and off you go. You go do whatever you got to do in the lands that you do it. Highly recommend you uh, organize your time to get this full video in so you get the full frolic. Why not? Who need, Why do you want a quarter frolic when you can get a full frolic, right? I had somebody ask me what frolic was. Wanted to know what frolic was. And uh, apparently, it's an, kind of an old term, I guess. It just means glee. Perlo dance. This is frolic. This is the essence of frolic right here. This is it. I went to the far off land on the Appalachians and I, I searched for, I searched through meditation and uh, fasting and all of those things that you're apparently supposed to do when you're searching. And uh, I, I, I asked the universe or whatever it is out there, what is the ultimate frolic? And all of a sudden, after a month and a half, I don't know why you got to take a month and a half to do it, but apparently it's something like that. And my hands went up like this and I went, 
and I felt it deep down in my soul. That's the fraud. That's the ultimate fraud. This, this is what you're about to see here is close to the ultimate frolic too. And that is what picks we did last night. What did we do? Okay, let's go to it. I had the, uh, I had the goaltenders thing in the background while we did that. Okay. Yeah, right here. Okay, we had Bruins versus the Islanders. We had the Bruins. And we had the under, which was five. So we pushed. But we got, we're up on the Bruins pick. Nice pick there indeed. Rangers versus Devils. We had the Rangers in regulation. And we had the under six. Nailed it. Uh... Yeah, I should have made this my pick of the night. I don't know why it was between that and Pittsburgh versus Philadelphia, but we'll get into that when it comes. What happened here? Did somebody tell me in the comment section? I didn't have a chance to watch this. The little lady wanted to watch something different than hockey tonight because she doesn't actually. So I, with me, you know, with that, you know, I had to take time. So we watched, uh, what was it? I don't know. Anyways, I can't, obviously it was great. Can't even remember what it was. It was one of those, uh, oh, fancy homes, you know, shows or whatever. We, I like it, actually. In all honesty, kind of like it. But I would have rather have seen this to find out what happened. Tokarski obviously stopped some stuff. Anyways, we had this for large pearls. And uh, we also had the under. Do you know why we had the under? Because I didn't think the Sabres were going to score enough on the Capitals. However, I did not know Vanacek was going to be in, but I did find out later and I didn't change my bet. So I was way off on that one. Way off. One thing I did say, though, is the Capitals have a tendency to do this in these games. They have a tendency to play down to their competition. It's annoying and trying to pick the times that they do and don't is very difficult. Because other times they just crush it, but... The Hurricanes versus the Predators was a good one. We had the Hurricanes and we had the under. Uh, glad to see the Hurricanes put this one away, really, because um, I was a little concerned about Mirazik being in, but I guess he played really well. Weird voodoo goaltender. Um, most of it has to do with Carolina, um, I think, playing the system they play, keeping players away from his weaknesses because he has them. But when they're doing it well, it, they cover it up well, and he, and he does things like he did last night. So we had that one. Lightning versus the Panthers. We, I had the Lightning here. Um, I also had the over, so it was pretty much a wash. But they didn't deserve to win. I was unsure about it. Honestly, I'm not even – the pick is sort of like whatever because it's it almost feels like it wasn't a right pick to me because Tampa had no business winning this game. And I'll tell you what, if Tampa doesn't get their crap together and start playing with some intensity and uh, um, with a purpose, because they don't, they haven't hardly did so this year. And they've won on talent, but um, they're not playing a game that's going to win in the playoffs. It reminds me of the Columbus, the year they won, um, lost to Columbus. However, that was a little different because um, – they were just flying through everybody. They were just on a roll. Here, they're, there's no intensity to this team. Not good. Flyers versus Penguins. Lost on this one. This was my game of the night. I had the Penguins in regulation, and we sure didn't get that. But Flyers are my team, so it's not so bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, is it does feel good that I got that the Flyers won and Carter Hart had a good game. Thankfully, Carter Hart had a really good game. Take a little sigh of relief because it's only one game, but at least it's a game. Um, really thought the Penguins were going to rock that, though. Um, we'll see what happens there. Um, Flyers turn it around and do some crazy thing. You never know. Hockey's weird that way. Jets versus Maple Leafs, we had the Jets. Um, we had an under as well. 
But so we didn't get that. I don't know what I was thinking on the under there, honestly. I I'm not a fan of Campbell. I'll tell you right now. I'm I I know we had a good run there, but I it seems to me that it's not likely that they're going to be able to hold on to that run. Really, it does. It, it just seems to me that it's not likely. I, I think overall he's a good goaltender, but do I think he's an under two GPA and uh, 0 0.940 save percentage? No, I don't. And uh, it's starting to slip here now the last couple of games. So keep an eye on that. Now, Matthews wasn't in. That's why I took the Jets here. Uh, Red Wings versus Blackhawks. We had the Red Wings and we had the under. Um, the Hawks had two injuries to De uh, DeHaan and Boquist, and their defense is just not deep enough to handle injuries like that. I figure the Red Wings are playing with a bunch of intensity, but here's the thing. I did this on the basis that Bernier was going to be in that. I'm really surprised Grice was in. Um, I found I didn't find out till I was so I didn't even realize till half the game was done that Grice was in. But we got lucky. We got the under. We had the wings. And then we have oh, they scored another one. Oh no, they tied it. We had the over on this. That's right. And it was five. The over was five. So it was a push. We also had the stars. So we hit a lot. Hit a lot today, didn't we? All right. I hope you guys had those picks last night. They were gooders. All right, talk about good or good picks. Let's look at our picks for tomorrow, shall we? So we already went through them. We're going to go through them at a deeper in a in a. We're going to go in more in depth, as they like to say. Um, there are some games that don't have odds here, so I just kind of projected the odds. I'll refresh it one more time, but I have a feeling it's not going to do anything. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, Montreal-Calgary. This is the one that I'm really the most unsure about. Montreal didn't beat a Calgary team that was coming off a back-to-back. -back. It seems like Gallagher is just the heart of this team. I may change this. I may change this by tomorrow. Right now, I've got Montreal... I can't see Montreal losing to Calgary back-to-back. -back. I just can't see it. Um, the que There's so many question marks, though. Is Price really better now? Is he going to start playing like the Price of way too long ago? Markstrom had a really good game last game. I do like the energy of Calgary right now. I'm sticking to Montreal for now, but I'm telling you, I'm not – Huge on this game. And I'm going to go under five and a half. Uh, Boston versus Islanders. I'm guessing this is going to be a five. Oh, it's a back-to-back. -back. Um, the thing is, you're going to be going with Sorokin. And are they going to go back-to-back -back with Rask? After coming back from a back injury? I doubt it. So it's going to be either Vladar or Wayman. So I'm going to... I can't see the Islanders losing two games to Boston in a row. So I'm taking the Islanders this one. I took them last night. I took Boston last night. I think the Islanders will win this one. Um, but it feels like 3-2. It feels like right on the total. I'm not huge on the total. Probably lean the over if it's a 5. Um San Jose versus Minnesota. I'm taking Minnesota all day. If San Jose goes voodoo on me and all of a sudden decides to play a good game, hmm, I'll be a little pissed. Uh, hopefully Talbot's going to be in net. Uh, I'm going to go Minnesota. I might even go PL on this. I'm definitely going to reg, but I might even go PL. I can't see San Jose after losing to Anaheim twice. They gotta have their head between their legs right now. They gotta be so low. Like and they look low when they play right now. They just don't look like a team that that has the heart to win. I'm gonna take Minnesota and I'm gonna take it in reg and I'm gonna take the over. This has yeah, I'm gonna take the over five and a half. Seems like that seems like a really good bet. I'll have to think about that one. 
Uh, I'll, I'll have to think about that on the amount I'm going to put on that pick because, uh, yeah. Colorado versus Los Angeles. I got to take Colorado. Uh, I'm, Peterson should be in. Colorado's not going to do something silly and go with Dubnik again. However, anybody, most goaltenders playing, it's the defense that does it for this team. Their defense is insane. I, I, I can't see Los Angeles winning this. I'm going to take Colorado in reg. Uh, what is, what's the money line? 134. In reg only pays 151. Do I want to go PL on that with Peterson in? Probably not. Peterson can just go off. I know you're not. Yeah, I know you're giving up a lot of juice, but. Probably going to go in reg. And I'm going to go the over five and a half. They both can score a lot. Uh, Colorado, if they get a hold of your defense, like if they start running around, tiring you out in the in the, in your zone, in, in a team zone, um, they're just a master at being able to um, keep the puck in the zone long enough to tire a team out. And, and it, it's it's awesome. I. This is one of the best run systems I have seen in a very long time. Colorado is playing absolutely insane. Edmonton, Vancouver, we know they postponed this game. Uh, again, uh, condolences to anyone in Vancouver. Uh, Miller was out saying that he was very upset about the schedule and stuff like that, and that he wasn't he was not feeling well enough to play. I guess some guys were really sick here, so. I know you're watching, Mr. Miller, and uh, you know I would like to thank you for uh, for being so forward and and you know coming right out and and uh, being vulnerable. i um, really thank you for that because you didn't give you didn't give stock answers. You actually went out and said what needed to be said there, and I'm glad you did, Mr. Miller. And I know you're happy to hear that. I know you are. Okay. Anaheim versus Vegas. Um, Got to go with Vegas. Anaheim will outwork you. I, if you underestimate Anaheim, they will outwork you. I, right now, I see Vegas getting on a playoff roll, though. Um, anybody, people who were poo-pooing DeBoer as a uh, co pick for a coach. Now, I'm not, I have nothing against Gallant, but um, I think Gallant's a great coach, too. But when they picked DeBoer, I was like, I get it. Not, I don't get why they're firing Gallant, but shuffling over to DeBoer is, is like at least the lateral move. He is an absolutely great coach, has these guys, guys dialed in. I'm thinking Stone for the Selkie this year. What do you guys think? Think St Stone could win the Selkie down there? Comment down at the bottom and let me know what you think about that. Okay, that's my picks. That's my full 42, too. That's all I got. People uh, often ask, oh, what, am I all off here? Jeez. I was all off here this whole time. Crazy. What was I like this? Anyways, you guys could still figure it out, right? Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you could. Uh, <laughs> okay. Have a great day, everybody. I don't have time to do this again. I got to get... I got to get my naps in. I have to go uh, make sure that uh, Perlow's House of Spanking is all in order. That I got to get all the monies in order and stuff like that. Um, and uh, I have to make sure that uh, Guido is going down there. I, I don't know. We haven't had many letters lately. So I'm going to go make sure Guido's been getting down to that mail room and bringing up a sack of letters in the morning. So got to go. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.